the Buffalo Bills beat the New York Giants in Super Bowl 25. Tampa Stadium in Tampa, Florida. The sun has just settled in the west. The crowd has jammed their way into Tampa Stadium, 74,000 plus. Skies are overcast. The temperature in the low 70s expected to drop into the 60s. 20% chance of rain and the opening ceremonies are beginning to wind down as we approach the kickoff of Super Bowl 25. Let's greet the AFC champion, Buffalo Bills. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the NFC champion, New York Giants. <laughs> Matt Barr to kick off. Don Smith is back to receive, along with Al Edwards. And Super Bowl 25 is underway in Tampa. Bars kick taken up at the 13-yard line. It's Don Smith, who used to play for the Buccaneers, tackled by Bars on the right side. Third down and six. Kelly over the middle again. It is caught by Reed, but Reed is shy of the first down. So the Bills, interestingly, complete two crossing patterns, but don't get a first down. First down from the 43-yard line. Hostetler fakes and then rolls to the right. Hits cross for a first down. He's out of bounds. First down at the 44-yard line with Megan and Anderson in the backfield. And Megan gets tripped up but gets up. Third down and seven. Giants at the 31-yard line. Seventh play of the drive. Hostetler out of the gun. Fires over the middle. Caught by Ingram. Inside the 20, out of bounds at the 16, first down, Giants. No score. Giants doing what they do so well, moving the ball and taking a lot of time off the clock. After Buffalo was three and out on its first possession. They have to get to the five for a first down. Hostetler goes to the end zone and incomplete. This will be a 28-yard field goal attempt. Hostetler puts it down for Barr, last week's hero. And he picks up here where he left off at Candlestick. Fox and Washington also play a lot. Banks, Diossi, Johnson, and Taylor. The backers, Collins, Walls, Jackson, and Guyton. The basic four, though the Giants right now have six DBs in. And on second and eight, going deep. It's tipped and it's caught by Lofton, who is taken out of bounds at the eight-yard line. It'll be first and goal. Tipped by Perry Williams and caught by the venerable James Lofton. DB, Don DB, beat. Williams in the game they played five weeks ago, and they've come right back to it. Third and goal, and it is tipped volleyball, and finally caught by Walls, but out of bounds. 23-yard field goal. Guyton also got a piece of that as well. Dave Megan is a guy who can capitalize on a mistake and turn it into a 30 or 40-yard play. At the moment, on second and eight, they go back with Otis Anderson, leave him in the block. It's tipped. It's caught by Stephen Baker, and he's to the 50-yard line in the first down. At the 46-yard line, third and six. And the Giants from the shotgun. Sent everybody out into the pattern, including Megan, and it's off his hands and incomplete. And as is usually the case, when Megan goes out and Hostetler is hurt, Hostetler's shaken up. Where they just huddle close to the line of scrimmage. The intent of this offense is to run plays and run them quickly. The equivalent of a basketball fast break. And there's a first down as Andre Reed. Bills at the 33. Game time 3-3 with 30 seconds to go in the first quarter. And over the middle, the catch is made by Reed. Whoa! He lived there all season. He's hit hard, but he gets up, and it's a first down. Good blocking, good pickup of the blitz by the Bills. And with two seconds to go in the quarter, Thurman Thomas. As we go to the second and back we come to Tampa after this message and a word from our ABC station. 3-3 as we start the second quarter. It's second down and four from the 41-yard line. Jim Kelly 
dumps it off to Thurman Thomas. Nice move by Thomas to pick up the first down and then he scored 13 points, 164 in terms of yardage. Blew the Raiders out. And today most of the yardage came on the pass to Lofton. Here's Kelly, complete to Reed, and Reed already having a big night. Then McKellar in motion, give it to Mueller, the big fullback barrels forward. And he stopped just short of the goal line by Lawrence Taylor. Bills terrific once they get inside the opponent's five yard line. Near perfect. Don Smith and Mueller are the running backs and Donnie Smith takes it into the end zone. Oh, and Jamie Mueller buried a giant. And Donnie Smith came right off his fanny into the end zone. Well, it was Gary Reasons, Frank, the linebacker that took on Mueller. Third and six, Giants at the 36-yard line from the shotgun. Bills rush five, Hostetler oh. hit as he throws, and it's incomplete. Leon Seals yeah. really decked him, and Hostetler once again slow and arising. Snaps in the shotgun from the 27-yard line. Here's Thurman Thomas exploiting a huge hole and a 14-yard game. And making contact. And they yank him and replace him with yes. Mike Fox, 93, over the nose. Kelly on third and one, throws and Reed, can you believe that? Stop the presses, drops the ball. At second and 10 from the six-yard line. Hostetler on oh. your heat, sacked for the safety, Bruce Smith. Hostetler lost it, pulling away from the center. Whether he was stepped on or just tripped, he might have tripped over his. I, I think he tripped back. over. Otis, I think he tripped over Otis Anderson. Otis was of Hosteller connecting with the right foot of Otis Anderson. Then watch this. Watch Bruce Smith here from the left grab for the ball. He's got Hosteller's wrist. Jeff senses it. Look at him pull the ball into his chest. Roger Brown was the only guy within 20 yards of it from the 16-yard line. Here's Thurman Thomas picking up the first down. And he just kept getting better the more times they gave it to him. Second and six, and here's Thomas again, their second leading receiver this year, doing what he does best, making people oh. miss. First and ten at the 47-yard line from the shotgun. Kelly, that man again, Thomas. They bring in help, Kenneth Davis. Davis is in there. They send him out into the pattern as Kelly goes deep on second and short. And it's incomplete, a double team. James Lofton surrounded. He beat him earlier on single coverage, and they come back, and this time it doesn't work. Third and two, and there's movement in the line before the snap. False start prior to the snap, number 69 offense. They almost always are locked up against the defensive end who's down on the ground, just like he is. They're very uncomfortable taking on a linebacker, and of course, that's what the Giants are giving them now. Third and seven, catch is made, but Andre Reed is short of the first down. At the 45, he is stopped by Carl Banks, and so that penalty was important. Second and four from the 19-yard line. Conlon had to come out, and Bailey spells him, and Anderson exploits a hole, takes it to the 36. For Buffalo, first down to the 37, 227 to go in the half. Hostetler pressured by Smith, throws, and open is Ingram along the sidelines, first down. 2.05 remaining in the half, Ingram is in motion, and the Giants do get the playoff before the two-minute warning as Maggot takes it inside the 30 to the 25, where Leonard Smith makes the tackle. Cross in motion. Hostetler to throw. Open man at the 15-yard line is Cross, and he has enough for the first down after he gets up. Second and 10, pressure on Hostetler, but he throws too low. Hostetler throws, touchdown, Stephen Baker. And he beats the main man, Nate Odoms. And that was a perfect throw. After three or four poorly thrown balls, Jeff Hosteller hits one right where it's supposed to be. And maybe more importantly, he had time to throw the ball. So the Bills lead by two at the half. Then we'll send you over to Brent Musburger.
respotted back at the 27. That's where his knee initially hit at the 27 yard line. Hostetler from the shotgun hits Meggett. Meggett breaks the tackle and turns it into a first down. Bigger than he looks, but this is the type of football that wears the team out. Three tight ends, third and one. Anderson again. Anderson into Buffalo territory. And Anderson all the way to the 30 yard line. Third and 13 at the 32 yard line. Hostetler throwing. It's caught by Ingram. He has to get to the 19 for a first down. And he does. Oh. If the Giants win this game, they may look back to this catch and run by Mark Ingram. You he won't is, say any better, Dan. As a he turns into a receiver, into a runner, and he knows exactly where the first down yard he did. He did there on third and 13. It's first down at the 18-yard line. Anderson to the 14. Third and a short four from inside the 12. 6.49 to go, third quarter, 12-10, Buffalo. Hostetler, a little dump off to cross. First down at the three. Look at that, over nine minutes. This is a Super Bowl drive. Second and goal at the one. Touchdown, Anderson. The best field position following the kick for any team or either team in this game. From the 40-yard line, Kelly hands the ball to Thurman Thomas. And Thomas? The, the, uh, the Giants offense and the fact that the Giants offense finished up the first half. Bill Belichick's crew hasn't been on the field in a long time. Second and two, Jim Kelly has his receivers covered. Four linebackers and five defensive backs most of the way for the Giants. Second and eight. And incomplete as Jackson was all over oh, yeah. Reed. Reed is looking for a flag, and there is one. Jackson, number 47. Pass a little out moves. Number 84 offense, still second down. And they're calling it on McKellar. It's offensive pass interference. It was away from the play. Levy said, what in the world is that about? Second down and 18 as Kelly throws to the far side, and that's incomplete. And when you get him down to third and 18, you also take him out of the no-huddle offense. Buffalo after huddling, third and 18. Kelly under pressure. Kelly gets sacked. Leonard Marshall. But when you get sacked with a two-man defensive line and no blitzing, you're in trouble. Rick Tootin with a bad kick, an angled kick that goes out of bounds up and around the 40-yard line. Giants have it. The time of possession about doubled. The Giants controlling the football here in the third quarter. That long drive. They held Buffalo. They take over at the 42, and Hostetler rolls to his left. Pitch cross. A nice move by Cross. That has paid great dividends for the New York Giants. Second and ten. Here's Hostetler. Chased by Smith. Then runs out of bounds at about the 42-yard line. Two minutes to go, third quarter, Giants up by five. From the shotgun. Hostetler to the open man, it's Ingram, but he is short of the first down. He's out of bounds. I'm telling you, the Giants offensive, they're making a lot of great adjustments. And Bill the Gambler goes again. <laughs> and the Giants, who've been terrific on fourth down in the playoffs, go for it on fourth and two, but not this time. Six Bills. As if for emphasis, drive Anderson to the turf and give Buffalo the ball back. Since the end of the second quarter has belonged to the New York Giants. Yes. Kelly to Thomas. Thomas with a spin move. I mean, these guys haven't faced any adversity in a while. Mm -hmm. They're not used to not succeeding. They also haven't faced the type of linebackers that the <laughs> Giants have either. Davis, 19-yard gain and then fumbles the ball out of bounds. As the Bills mount a drive, trying to retake the lead. We go to the fourth quarter in Super Bowl 25. Giants 17, Bills 12.
back we come after this from our ABC stations. Kelly from the shotgun, flanked by Thomas. Gives to Thomas. And Thurman breaking tackles at the 22, inside the 10, touchdown Buffalo. Al, you mentioned earlier in the day the name of Thurman Thomas. He brought, got good blocking at the line, broke a tackle, and then got one from Andre Reed downfield. Second and seven at the 26-yard line. Ingram in motion. Fake to Anderson. Nice block to buy Hostetler some time. Then under pressure, he throws it away. Third and seven to the 26. Bills by two. 13.56 to play. Boats looking back at Hostetler. Play clock is down to two. One. They get it off. And Hostetler throws, and it's caught by Bovaro for a big first down. Hostetler sends Ingram in motion, shadowed by Odoms. Anderson cuts it back. Jackson makes the tackle. He gets to the 50-yard line. 84 yards on the ground for Anderson tonight. 98 for his counterpart, Thomas. Here's Carthen. That should be enough for a first down. And Buffalo leads by two. First down at the 46-yard line. Off the fake. Over the middle, Bavaro again for a first down on the 27-yard line. Tackled by Leonard Smith. He looks like he fell on the ball, too. Carson in motion. Hostetler protected well. Throws, finds Ingram. First down, 14-yard line, 10.45 to go. Anderson. Stopped by Green at the 10-yard line. Third and five, just inside the nine. Baker split left, Ingram to the right. Megan and Carson in the backfield. It's Megan behind a Carson block. Should have the first down. Bentley limped off. Bailey replaces him at inside linebacker. First and goal. And the tackle is made by Jeff Wright. Big play. Second and goal at the 7. 8.15 to play. Anderson follows Carson. Gets it back to about the original line of scrimmage. It's going to be third and goal from just outside the three. George Young, the man who brought all this talent to the Giants, ponders the situation. Ba -boom, ba -boom, ba -boom, ba -boom. Third and goal. Baker split left, Ingram right. Cross is slotted to the right. Hostetler has it knocked down at the 10-yard line by Bennett. Hostetler to put it down. Bar's kick is good, and New York once again has the lead. It's the fourth lead change in the game. 7-20. Time of possession. Let's check that out. The Giants about a two and a half to one ratio. Well, Thomas and Otis Anderson certainly have delivered everything that they were expected to do. It's about eight yards a carry. Kelly. Protected well, Thomas again. Thurman does it all. Picking the ball, delaying the game. Third down and eight. Kelly throws, and it is not caught. Broken up by Williams, a big time hit on Al Edwards to force the punt. They start taking their timeouts. We've got 525 remaining. O.J. Anderson, out to about the 35 yard line. The Giants take the play clock down to three. March, march, march. And there is Anderson for a first down. And now, as we say, Hostetler avoids the blitz. Megat flanks Hostetler in the backfield. They have to get to the 45 and a half for a first down. Watch Hostetler run with the ball. Quarterback draw to the 48. He's short of the first down. An incredible number there, the New York Giants. Giants hoping to draw the Bills offside, but the Bills are a bunch of statues. They're not moving. No way will they be assessed the penalty in this situation as a fair catch is called for by Edwards at the 10. First and 10 at the 10. Kelly with a four wide out. He also sends Thomas into the pattern. Steps up to avoid the sack. 
Takes it out to the 17 yard line. The ball is knocked loose, but the play was whistled dead. Pepper Johnson with the tackle, and that'll take us to the two minute warning. It'll be second and two after an eight yard Kelly gain and one Buffalo timeout left. Went to 19 New York. One for five from 40 yards plus. What win there is, is at his back, is at the back of the bill. But they're a long way from that coming into play. Second down and two from the 18. Kelly the pump fake steps up and gets tackled by Howard. Third down, inches. Bills have not converted a third down in the game. Until now, thanks to Thomas. Thurman Thomas out to the 40, a first down, tackled by Everson Wall. First and 10 at the 40, 21 yard pickup, 122 to go, one timeout left for Buffalo. And over the middle, he hits Andre Reed, who was noisy in the first quarter, pretty quiet since, out to the 45. Kelly flanked by Thomas in the backfield. Three wide receivers. No pass rush at all. That's unbelievable. All day and half of the night, and he's going to run with it, and he picks up the first down, takes it to the 46, tackled by Banks, 48 seconds. And Eric Howard wants out of the game. He was standing yeah. up on the yeah. line of scrimmage. He was probably hurt as the Giants continue to go with the two down linemen. And Buffalo takes its final timeout, so that's it for the Bills. They are out of timeouts. So they're a good 20 yards away from where they need to be. From the gun, first down at the 46-yard line. It's a three-man New York rush. Kelly throws, it's low, but it's caught by McKellar off his shoe tops at the 40. Again, the Bills without a timeout, it'll be second down and four. Kelly lines up over center, and or they're gonna look at it. the umpire steps in to see of all things if it's a completed pass. He does a nice job of scooping this ball out. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a nice catch. He's got uh, it. Nice catch. He's got it. Easy to be in the instant replay booth when you get a look like that. But that did give the Giants pass rush a little breather. Second down and five. Here's Thurman Thomas swinging to the outside. Has the first down. Thurman Thomas takes it to the 30. Well, they are in Norwood field goal range. Collins makes the stop. The Bills are going to have to ground the ball to stop the clock at the 29-yard line. Kelly throws it into the ground. Eight seconds. It'd be 47 yards yep. from right here. And they have to send them in here. They can't take a chance and run another play. Huddling, some of them refusing to look, just praying. Bars was good. Now Norwood tries to kick his longest ever on grass. 47 yards. Adam Lingner will snap it. No good. Wide right. There are photographers and people all over the field, but the clock still has four seconds on it. <laughs> and Steve <laughs> Diossi, <laughs> there's still four seconds on the clock. Players are all over the field congratulating each other. It'll take a while to get this shaped up. All the Giants have to do is a kneel down and it's all over. It's a premature celebration, but it will be a celebration nonetheless. It turned this game around. When you keep the ball for over 40 minutes of a ball game, your offensive line did a wonderful job. And has there ever been a man in the position that Jeff Hostetler has is in right now? A backup quarterback, a career backup quarterback that comes off the bench and quarterbacks his team to a Super Bowl victory. Taylor who stepped in there and gave Parcells a quick peck. Marks who has known nothing but double teams all season long. 
And then tonight, with four linebackers and only two defensive linemen in front of him, they somehow or other hung in there.